Well, I was talking about uh, gratitude being, um, it's an inward, expressing gratitude is an inward process. Yeah. However, when you put names to it, yeah. we feel less alone. It's so true. And this idea of community has become so important. I think if there's one thing the COVID pandemic proved to us is how important community is that we didn't even notice before. And, you know, it's just, just you talking about, you know, the power of family and friends coming over. And, and that community is so important to us. And yet, how often do we really reach out to those we, we've we've maybe lost contact with, those who are important to us at some point? Um, and that's what this journal has been has been very good for me as well as thinking back. I recently I just sent a note to one of my old high school friends, just saying, "Hey, I really appreciate you. And you were there when my my parents were aging, and you went to visit them." And I just and and he told me about how he'd gone through cancer recently, and I wouldn't have known that if I wasn't being thinking about how grateful I was for all he had done. You know, sometimes many years before or years before. And so it does bring us, like you said, John, out of ourselves and thinking, putting names to the gratitude that we have. It's a really powerful thing. But it also, I mean, there's a biological benefit too. It releases oxytocin within ourselves. It makes us uh, makes us feel better. Um, so it is really a feel better drug that we can use that's within us already. 